Hey guys, welcome to part two of my R tutorials. Uh, part one, I got to some really basic how to open up a data set, maybe run some summary statistics, stuff like that. Uh, part two, I'm picking up exactly where I left off. Same example, same data, same information. So one to two should be really continuous. Uh, but in part two, I'm gonna show how to plot relationships between a couple of variables. And one, yeah, you're gonna, let, you're gonna do graphs in my class and in other econometrics classes, but also it's gonna give some chance for us to learn how to look at our documentation, to be able to look at a function's documentation and start to look at how we can use it to learn a new function. So I'm going to go into this like we know what command we want, but we don't know how to use it. Hope it helps. So something else we might be interested in, what about plot the relationship? between education and log of wages. Well, we can do a plot command. Now, maybe we don't actually know uh, how to use this command. Or maybe, honestly, you didn't even know what the command was, in which case I strongly recommend Google. Uh, Googling will be your friend. But if you know the command you're looking for, you can just type help plot is the command I'm interested in. And over here in help, it's going to give me some ideas. So let's talk about how to read this. Uh, so the command is plot parenthesis X and Y and then some other options. So let's let's try that first. Let's try it without any options. We'll just do a nice simple plot of Education and L wage. It's not going to work. Crap, we forgot. I'm doing this over and over on purpose because I really want to hammer this home. That, that error, object not found, is not a reason to contact your professor. It just means tell R where to find your data. Right, let's take a look at this plot. Look at that. We've got our education and we've got our wages. Cool. There's a plot. Now, what if we wanted to make this thing prettier? Let's see. So I still have this plot command up. Let's look at some of these options. Uh, for instance, I can change the type of plot. I can do histograms. I can put lines between the points or whatever. For this graph, I'm not going to bother because it's already what I want. But what if I just want to give it a title? and labels on the axes. So here's the way the syntax work. It gives me this command plot comma or plot of x comma y. I've got that. Here's my x. Here's my y. And then options comma dot dot dot. What do you do with those options? Well, I'm going to try. Let's do one where we just add the title first the main option, so I'll just type main. And then if you're doing it right, R will actually give you a prompt for what to do next. Main equals, I'm gonna say labeled plot is all I wanna call it. See what that looks like. Hey, hey, it's got a title now. Great, uh, let's go back. There was also some for the labels, X lab and Y lab. X lab equals education level. And then Y lab equals log of wages. Let's see what this thing looks like now. Okay, so what just happened? Because that didn't work. Um, here's another error you'll probably see a lot. This unexpected symbol in. More often than not, when I see this error, it means I forgot a comma somewhere. So I tried to do something fancy, which is when my commands get too long, R lets you just put them on different lines. Like I can just hit enter in the middle of a command and it'll keep going. 
Uh, but what I forgot to do is I forgot to put a comma between my different options. I have my main label, but I did not put a comma between it and my X label. So I'm putting that comma there. Let's see if that makes this any better. Hey, there we go. There's our fancy plot. Booyah. Now, does it matter where I put the enter? Let's take a look. No, I didn't. I could put it right in the middle of that main label option and it still ran this whole three line function as if it was just one line of code. So this just helps you to make it look easier to read. I don't have to have it going off the end of the page because if I didn't do this, I would have to start scrolling every time I wanted to look at the rest of my code. But if I enter, it's all there right in front of me, which is convenient. And let's just do one more just for fun. I can change the color of my dots too. Let's make them blue. Now, why did I bother showing you all of this? Well, you're going to have to get used to using a function and fiddling with its options. I showed you how to get help. We'll use the help plot command, and it gave us this. And then you're going to need to be able to read this and convert it to your specific situation. Here's my X, Y, comma, and here's my dot, 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 all the options that I'm allowed to fill in additionally. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this one. Uh, just wanted to show you guys how to run a plot. Also wanted to show you how to look at our documentation and start to implement it in your own code, even if you don't know what a function looks like. That's going to be an essential skill, so we'll keep working on it. Uh, yeah, future videos, we're going to talk about regressions and subsetting our data and cleaning data and running loops and all kinds of other fun things. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy econing. See you next time.